Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, go All right, guys, so I already been working this morning. Um, we're back at Staples Road. I got this third layer in here on the top. We got all the screw holes uh, smoothed over with some wood filler. I already started painting around where my ports go so I can get the ports stuck in with some PL. But shit, we got a guest out here at Staple Road. Check this Peyton out. Johnston in here. Yeah. These are his, uh, his C-Max cells. There's Billy. Peyton knew where to go when he wanted that voltage right. He knew where to go because he knew Billy, Billy the man at building that C-Max. Staple Road Customs keeps that voltage on, on point. So, but here building Peyton the 135. So, yeah. Peyton's actually helped build his own battery. That's what Peyton does. Peyton wants to be involved in his shit. Oh, yes. So uh, he's learning about the C-Max, how to put everything together. He's been testing all the cells as we pull them out. Everything's been good so far. So, yeah, that's what we got going on. Debbie over here sweating. She's been helping me today. You know, and it's the 3rd of July, so happy 4th of July, guys. So... I don't know if I'm gonna come out here and work on this thing tomorrow. Uh, I got the other alternator for Deb's blazer. Idle Tech, of course. So I got an Idle Tech engineering alternator. I got her dual alt bracket. I got her voltage regulator for dual alt. So I'm literally thinking about um, going ahead and taking tomorrow away from the old Jeep and uh, working on the blazer tomorrow at home. You know, throw some stuff on the old grill and everything and just chill, you know. Make sure my squirrels are doing okay at the squirrel feeder. Got to get them some extra treats since it's the fourth. But uh, other than that, everything's going good. Look, they're painting over there. Peyton's still testing themselves. Billy got the Staple Road Custom shirt on. It's all good. I want to give a shout out to Walt Johnson at Carolina SPL because he supplied the sales and... Uh, he actually made the bars on his CNC machine. So that was a pretty decent hookup, but anyway, guys, we're out here sweating to death today, so I'll holla at you. The mad scientist work. Me, Peyton, and Billy here at Staple Road Customs. Got Peyton some power today. He's gonna have that good, good voltage now. He's moving into that 16 uh, volt realm. He's gonna be happy. More power, baby. So, yeah. hey, look at that thing. Ooh wee, ooh wee. That's three sleeves, 135. Actually, if you do the math correctly, cause we got 27 cells wide, 4S, but if you do the math correctly, 27 times five is 135. But the C-Max cells are 5.5 amp hour, 5.5. So if you actually do the math, 27 times 5.5 is 148.5. So in reality, that's almost a 150, but everybody calls them 135s. I clamp 40K on one of these. Clamp. But, yeah, now, uh, now it's time to start back on the old, uh, the old Jeep here. Got my third layer up here. And look how close we are on each side. Like, we're right there, baby, but that's real small. So it still needs that 45 put in there. But I went in and filled, we filled the holes, me and the wife did. We just got to sand them down, the screw holes, so I can start painting more. So it is what it is, guys. We living with it. We live in life. It's been hot today. And I've done very little in here. I've been more focused on getting uh, Peyton's battery built. So it's time to start jumping back in here before i end my day but anyway guys i'll give you another update we got them 45s in look at three layers of 45 we ain't playing here 
The wife is filling a little bit of gap. We don't have much. We don't have much gap. Like that side's almost non-existent. There's a little gap here, as you can see. I got my best, my best woman on the job because she knows what she's doing. She's done this a lot before, a lot of times. So yeah, I got my three layers, three layers, two plus that roof is three. We three on the bottom. We got enough room over here for amplifiers, for mids and highs. So, yeah, we we ain't got a lot done today, but uh, I already did put some little little bit of wood filler and the screw holes on everything. And uh, yeah, we're just doing that. I'm gonna try after she runs a finger bead down that shit to smooth it off or a towel. Then I'm gonna try to get in here and uh, throw some paint on that. You can see how far I am from the B pillar, yeah. but you got to calculate two and a quarter inches with three layers, and then my seat, you know, will pretty much touch that. I like to be comfortable, guys. I don't play that crap where old Jerry's uh, having to sit scrunched up against the steering wheel. I got a big belly, you know. Shit, shit, shit. It's good, baby. It's good. We, oh, look at <laughs> that's so dirty. That's, that's so dirty. It's so pornographic. So pornographic. But anyway, that's what we got going on here. I painted that so I can try to throw my ports in, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and like paint the whole thing here in a few. And uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and cram the ports in, PL3XM. So that'll be good for today. It'll be something at least. And we got Peyton and Lauren. They still here hanging out. Lauren does. Lauren don't play. She feeling good as hell. She got some Malibu pineapple Caribbean rum with pineapple. That's a lot to read. Hold on. But the C Max is done. We got the balancer here. Look at that bad boy. Oh, it's so pretty. I didn't draw holes in this because I don't know how Peyton wants to lay his shit out. So I told him he could do that. But that's all done. Random doggo. That's Peyton's dog. I think. I'm not not 100 percent. It came with Peyton, but it could be Lauren's dog. I don't know. But yeah, guys, that's what we got going. This this week's video ain't gonna be great. Cause my wife already telling me to get the hell out the way. Oh. Hotter than a tablespoon in a trap house in this place. I saw that on Facebook. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. I saw it on Facebook. Can't get anything on this side. Oh shit. I walked, I walked into the PL3X, so I gotta get off here and try to get this off my shirt, guys. All right, guys, I'm at a stopping point for today. We got ports in back there. They're in, they're glued together. They ain't coming apart. Uh, that left me room to get six holes right here on each side to run my terminals through for uh, speaker wires. But guys, it's just too damn hot. And we got the thing painted, got ports in it. I will say for certain that I'm done with this day. <laughs> so this video will probably continue tomorrow. So yeah, this is gonna continue tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if I'll work on this Jeep tomorrow or the Blazer, but Peyton, <laughs> but it will, it will continue tomorrow and I'll have some kind of project and for you. tomorrow. You got the wife with me? We at Pick and Pull. We had to get an alt bracket because uh, I was ripping hers apart and the kit for dual aux that I got, it really has some issues. Uh, there's one hole that's threaded that the bolt that goes in it's way longer and you got to cut the threads out and I didn't take the bracket off the vehicle. I was trying to drill it and broke the bracket. So we had to come to pick and pull to get the alternator slash power steering bracket. So yeah, kind of a mess up, kind of not, but uh, I already got the bracket off. We're just going up to pay, but so I got to go home, change the bracket yeah it sucks but at least the brackets all the way off and hopefully i have drill bits at home and not in storage and i can actually drill the threads out of this 
Uh, when I get home, I'll show you more of what I'm talking about. Why the threads have to come out. So, uh, yeah, when I get home, we'll film more. I hope you don't mind being on YouTube. I'll let you walk for it. I don't want to put you on YouTube, bro. Um, but yeah, when I get this bracket home and get going, I'll show you what I had to drill out to put the dual alternators on there. But it's just been hectic. At least it ain't as hot today as it was yesterday. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still hot. But not as bad as it was yesterday. Look at some of these old cars. That's a badass car. We got a row of Corvettes. A lot of Corvettes here. A lot of C3s. Here we got a, I think that's a C5, C4, another C4. So if you guys need Corvette parts, this is Pick and Pull in Conway, South Carolina. They, they got them right outside the back door. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna get off of here and uh, we gotta go home and get back to work on this thing. We'll, we'll, we'll pick up when we get home. Fourth of July, it's out here raining. I'm underneath my shade tree where my squirrel feeder is at. It's going to put dual locks on here. There's the bracket, but you know, the two factory boat holes for the alternator, because the alternator normally turns down and uses this boat hole. You got to put a pulley here and a pulley here. And it has this extremely long boat that has going from the front, but it had threads right here. And I tried cutting the threads out with this thing on, but there's not much room here. But the boat actually has to go through this with that pulley on it. And I tried cutting the threads out, as you can see, but I didn't have them out enough. And when I put the boat in, it just broke. So I had to go to pick and pull and get another one. It's a pain in the butt to change because you got to pull this pulley off of your dang uh, power steering pump. And there's another stupid bolt back here that I have to get for the power steering pump. Yeah, it's gonna be a pain in the butt, it looks like. Uh, but I mean, I'm doing it. <laughs> I gotta take this alternator off. I was just kind of mocking things up and I ran into that problem. So that's where we're at. I don't even know if it's gonna fit like this because I mean, actually it, it might. I know this hose like goes way the hell down there. But I don't know guys, we're working on it, man. It's, it's taking a lot longer than I expected just because of this which regardless this has to come off if you do one of these that has to come off i didn't have a tool that i could fit in here to drill them threads out and you see now i got some damn drill bits and i'm gonna drill that bitch out before i put it on so anyway guys i'm gonna get back Look to work radiator hose how i had to run it for these dual locks because normally it come up through here and over like we're way down there I had to loop it underneath everything around and then up to here, I had to splice it because I'm pretty sure nobody makes a hose for this thing. Uh, it took me a lot of work. Basically I had to buy a really, really just like one of the longest hoses I could find that size with a bunch of bends in it to, to be able to get from here, loop around the back of the aux to there it's a little long back here. I could actually cut some of this off, but I'm leaving it like this for now because we're getting ready to fire it up to see if the, uh, the alternators even work. I've had a lot of problems with these, uh, putting this alternator system together today. My wife's channel, Debbie Space Ain't Loud, is going to have the full story with what we've went through getting these dual alts on. Because this bracket, even though it's it fits, Trust me, guys, it took a lot of modification to get this thing to fit, like the trip to pick and pull today. So uh, we're getting ready to fire it up and see if it works. So this is pretty much going to end my weekend shenanigans. Sorry, I didn't have a better video for you, but uh, at this point, I don't even have time to put the voltage regulator in today. We did run some wires for the voltage regulator. They're there, but I ain't got a chance to put it in. So we're just going to be running off this one alt. And not even to mention the fact that this is what come with the Idle Tech Alt. They didn't tell me which uh, of these goes to the uh, voltage regulator, what the other one goes to. Because all my externally regulated just have one wire. 
So I still got to figure that out. But anyway, guys, peace out. Base on. I hope you had a great 4th of July.